ranking the top five Panthers of all time with Elliot Harrison. This is number five, a tackle, Jordan Gross. Yeah, that's right. Hey, when Jordan Gross came to the league in 2003, the left tackle position was at a premium. You had Walter Jones, Jonathan Ogden, Orlando Pace, all in the league, Hall of Fame caliber players, Hall of Famers. The thing is, with the left tackle position, is people realize, and GMs realize, and fans realize, we've got to protect franchise quarterbacks. You don't have a quarterback, you don't win. Jordan Gross did a great job of it. Had he not played in Carolina, I think he would have had more than three Pro Bowl berths. Sure. How about number four on the list? A receiver, Moussa Muhammad. Yeah, Moussa Muhammad, fantastic career in Carolina. Played there nine years. And really, the first premier offensive player this franchise had. Mm -hmm. You know, he got going in the late 90s, 1999 with Steve Berline. He was fantastic. But 2004 was actually his best year. Led the league in touchdown receptions. Interestingly, and yards, too, that year. And, and yards. 2004 was not a good year for the Panthers, but a great year for him personally. And then, of course, he went to the Chicago Bears after that. But I could not ignore his brilliant nine-year run in Carolina. Another thing we can't ignore Number three on our list. I know. This Every, is tough. I mean, this is, was it tough? Well, it was. I had I had him lower, and then I thought, wait, what? I can't have him lower. Well, Cam Newton has played five years in the league. It's hard to put him on a list like this, but considering Carolina's only 21 years old. Right, and I do? feel like last season, this past season, probably had something to do with this. It's probably weighed in a lot. Sure, sure. And look, if he's the only league MVP in your team's history. I mean, it's possible Carolina could go another 20 years without having a league MVP. It's a rare honor. Only one guy gets it mm -hmm. every year. Cam Newton deserves to be on the list because of that. And he had a fantastic rookie season. He has had, you could say, ups and downs in his Carolina career. But the main thing is they're winning. Colleen, they've won the division three straight years. It had never been done in the NFC South back-to-back before last just year. what he can do physically. It's oh, amazing yeah. watching him play. Oh, I mean, the, the offensive season he had last year was nothing short of spectacular. Okay, let's go to number two. Julius Peppers, who we've talked before. Yep. I know, I thought he was number one before. Yeah, he was number one before. I When I did this on all the NFC teams, I did the top player in franchise history, and Julius Peppers was my Carolina Panther. Well, got a lot of comments on that article from Panthers fans that said, hey, you sure that Peppers should be number one? So I had to Really think Why is about he it. Two? He's two. Well, first of all, the good the good part about him being two is he's one of the premier pass rushers of his era. The only reason he's not number one, as dominant as he could be in spots, was that Steve Smith mm -hmm. has to be the guy based on who I heard from, and that is the Carolina Panthers fans. Here he is, yeah. number one. I felt like even when he went to the Ravens, I looked at him as a Panthers. Still. Yes, yes, and you know. Steve Smith always laid it all on the line out on the football field, and that's what all their fans tweeted me and commented about, and they said, look, we love Peppers, but Steve Smith has been the man for our franchise. Nobody wanted to see him go. He's a five-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro, caught a touchdown pass in Super Bowl 38. In fact, his first NFL game, first kickoff, he took it back to the house. Oh, that's right. It's Minnesota Vikings, but Julius Peppers and Steve Smith I mean, it's almost going six and one, half dozen the other. Mm -hmm. Both of them great players. Uh, Julius Peppers was good right out of the gate. Steve Smith took a couple of years to get involved in the offense, but once he got once going, he did. I mean, look at that. 836 catches, 12,000 yards, franchise records. Well, here's a recap at your top five Panthers of all time. Jordan Gross, Musa Muhammad, Cam Newton, Julius Peppers, and Steve Smith. Pretty strong. Ice up, son.